Nick, uh, an absolute sickening that, wasn't it? Controlled the game for the majority, but ended up dropping points. Yeah, you know, I've got deflated dressing room there and the staff. Uh, it hurts that one. It really does, the way we played. But it just shows football's a horrible sport, you know. If you don't take your chances and don't mm. kill games off, you'll get punished, and we have done today again. Yeah, we're saying that at 2-1, when chances were going begging. Even though we're looking comfortable, you just felt that if we had one chance, it could cost us. Oh, someone's going to have a chance. You know, every team you can batter them, they'll have a chance. Uh, it's just we didn't take our chances ourselves, you know. We made poor decisions, we're shooting from silly areas. You know, I can't fault the boys, you know, the forms was excellent. But it's just that, you know, you've got to take your chances. When you're on top, you've got to score. It should have been 3-4-1. Yeah, I mean, first half, sloppy goal, wasn't it? But second half, we defended really well, didn't we? Yeah, first half, their chances come from us. Our mistakes, I told the boys at half time, you know. Our individual errors, but please don't cost us again. And then, so we had a good chat. We've come out, you know, ready to go. Ditcher scored a good goal after they've scored first. And then, like you said, we, we bombarded them. Uh, but we just knocked up the chances. And um, you must have been pleased with their response after going behind. We, we were really quick, weren't we? Yeah, you know, we equalised two minutes later. We, you know, Jack was unlucky in the first half. He's hit the post. And then, like you say, they've, they've had that one chance and scored. I think they've had three shots on target all game. You know, scored twice, so it's just unfortunate. And then, yeah, it was good, you know, good effort, good attitude to bounce back. And then I thought we really, really did dominate the game second half. And it's been uh, we're still unbeaten, aren't we, in these tough run of fixtures? I know, obviously, three points would have been uh, a lot better, but we're on a decent run, aren't we? Yeah, we're you know too many draws for my liking. Mm. You know, we're not killing games. If you could, we go back. You know, uh, was it uh, Geisley? Yeah, you know, we're in a winning position. And you know decisions go against us, and we concede. You know, obviously the Radcliffe game was a tremendous performance. We rolled our luck at Macclesfield, but then second half could have took it. And then obviously today, you know, so you look at it, you think, yeah, you, you've done okay about the top of the league, but you need to get more wins. Especially with results as well today, it feels like a missed opportunity, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's what happens in this league. Don't see, you know, someone, no one's really getting on that run yet. You know, Radcliffe are obviously there with their runs, but they've had a little block. But, uh, you just need to get some consistency. Yeah, we're eight unbeaten, so that's pleasing. However, it's too many draws. And on to Marine now as well. Um, I mean, that's a, a big game. Can't afford to slip up just with the sort of the way the table is. Yeah, you know, we were saying before to the boys, you know, today we could have gone in the top five or six if, with a win. If you get beat today, you're probably 11 or 12. That's how strange it is. Mm. Like you say, Marine are knocking for the playoffs as well. So we've got to go in there. They had a poor result the other day, so they want to bounce back. And like you say, this feels like a defeat to me today. It really does. So I want us to bounce back. I want us to get Marine in there, hopefully go there and get the three points. And another really good crowd as well. Crowd have been tremendous. You know, we can say week in, week out, you know, nearly a thousand here today. They got behind the boys again, and even at the end, you know, you could feel their disappointment, but they still stuck with the lads. So. Unfortunately, but I wish them a happy new year and hopefully we can get the results what we want to get.